So the caster wheel is subjected to the two couples. For us to determine the force F, which is here on the diagram, um, that the bearings create on the shaft, so that the resultant couple moment on the caster is zero. So the way that I'm going to approach this question is that we know the sum of the couples have to be equal to zero. And we should be able to work out what each couple moment is, remembering that you can get this from it being the force multiplied by d, which is the separation distance between the um, two forces that make up the couple. So let's start with the f uh, forces here. So f is just f. And the distance which separates these two, remember you're looking for the shortest distance or the perpendicular distance, it's going to be the 40 millimeters. So with respect to the direction, these two are going to try and rotate this thing in a clockwise direction. So if we obey our sign convention, that means it's going to go in its negative. Just remember, if you're trying to figure out what way that a couple is going to create, um, you can think of holding your two hands on um, a steering wheel and pushing it in the directions um, that you have on the diagram and seeing whether that steering wheel rotates clockwise or anti-clockwise in your head. So that's how I do it anyway. So now we just need to focus on the other couple, which is created between these two forces here. So F for these is going to be the 500 newtons. And the separation distance, again, we're looking for the perpendicular or the shortest distance between them. It's going to be the 50 millimeters that we see here. With respect to the direction, these two together are going to try and rotate uh, whatever it is um, anti-clockwise. So that means they're going to go in as positive to obey the sign convention. So we know that since this is an equilibrium, um, everything has to sum to zero. So now it's just a case of going through and solving for the force F. So it's going to be 500 times 50 divided by 40. And this works out to be 625 newtons. So if you go through and look at your list of answers, it does indeed correspond to one. Um, it's answer B. So that's all there is.